Hello IP6. Welcome to our first video lesson. So as you all know, we're not going to be able to go to school for at least a few weeks. And so we're going to be doing our lessons online. So please make sure that you pay close attention to our online lessons. I know in the summer, the lessons that you did, we just recapped what you did in IP5. But now we're continuing the work that we've been doing in class and we're continuing it online. So everything that we do in these videos is stuff that's going to be on the midterm exams, if we do the midterms, and it will be on your final exams. So we're not going to do this stuff again in class. So it's important that you watch the videos, that you pay attention, that you listen carefully, and that you remember everything. Okay, so we're going to get started. Okay, so today's lesson actually is a bit of a recap on what we did before Christmas. So right before Christmas, we started Chapter 5, Capitalization and Punctuation. And we went over a few things about using capital letters and about using M marks. So we have actually already done this, but I want to go over it again because one, it's been a few weeks since you did this, since before Christmas. And two, when you review all of this chapter before your final exams or before your midterm exams, you'll be able to watch all of these videos that will cover everything in chapter five. So we're starting with capitalization and end marks, which you've already done, but your next lesson will be a new topic, a new area of the chapter about comments. Okay, so just to recap what we've already done. You know that sentences need to start with a capital letter, and you know that they need to end with an M mark. So when you've been writing, I've told you a couple of times to make sure you avoid run-on sentences. A sentence should have one subject and one predicate unless you are making a compound or complex sentence. But if you've got simple sentences, just one subject, one predicate, you separate them by adding an M mark and a capital letter. So a run-on sentence, today has been a horrible day, I lost my phone. But you could correct it by saying, today has been a horrible day, exclamation point, because horrible, very strong feeling. I lost my phone, capitalize the new subject, I. Right, very, very quickly, I just want to remind you of the different types of sentences. So declaratives, also known as statements, begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. And these give information. So for example, Today is our first online lesson. Interrogatives, also known as questions, begin with a capital letter and end with a question mark. These sentences ask for information. So for example, how long do you think we will have to keep learning online? An imperative, known as a command, begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. And these sentences tell you to do something. So. An example, make sure you follow all your online lessons carefully. So that's an instruction to you. Exclamatory sentences, known as exclamations, start with a capital letter and end with an exclamation point. And these show strong feeling. So if you're really happy, if you're really sad, if you love something, if you hate something, if you're excited, if you're scared, if you're worried, these are strong feelings and we use exclamatory sentences to describe them. So for example, we all miss going to school so much. Again, we've done this, but just to go over it quickly, as well as starting sentences with capital letters, you need to start proper nouns with capital letters. So proper nouns name particular people, pets, places, or things. So my name is Joseph Bradley Armstrong. You need to capitalize all of those words. I used to have a pet dog named Poppy. So pet dog, you wouldn't capitalize. You don't need to capitalize the word dog because that's just the name of the animal, but you would capitalize the pet's name. Our school is on Vipavadi Rangzit Road. So again, capital V, capital R, capital R. 
and a few weeks ago it was New Year's Day. So you capitalize the name of the holiday, which is a thing. When you're capitalizing names, you need to make sure that you capitalize the first name, the middle name, surname. If there's any titles like Mr, Dr, Miss, or Junior, or if you're using initials. Initials are like a shorter way of saying a name. So J.K. Rowling, she's an author. She doesn't use her full name. She uses the initials J and K to take the place of her first name and middle name. When you are using family names, you only you capitalize family names when they're being used in place of a name, not when we're just saying what that family name is to describe a relationship. So, Dad went to the mall with Uncle Jack and Grandpa. Dad, Uncle Jack, Grandpa, they are being used as names. My mum and aunt stayed at home with my grandma. I'm not actually using them instead of a name. I'm just describing the relationship so they don't need to be capitalised. So for the titles of books, movies, songs, TV shows, video games, poems, plays, uh, names of a music album, other things that have titles, you need to make sure that you capitalize all of the important words. So you don't capitalize less important words like the, and, in, of, to, or a, unless... They're the first word or the last word in a title. And I told you this in class. We usually write titles in italics. And in your textbook, it tells you to underline titles. You don't need to worry about that. For now, all you need to worry about is making sure that you capitalize correctly. So just to make it clear, italics are when we write in slanted writing like this. So first example... The Frog and the Prince, we capitalize the at the start, but we don't capitalize and or the in the middle. The and the are not important words, but we always capitalize the first word in the title. So that's why this one is capitalized, but this one is not. And of course, we capitalize other important words like Frog and Prince. So again, there's a few more examples you can see where we capitalize the important words, but we don't capitalize unimportant words like and, the, or of. Okay, that is the end of the lesson. Quickly, before we finish, I'm just going to explain your homework to you. Okay, so on the e-learning platform, you should be able to download this worksheet. It says at the top, IP6, English Chapter 5, Capitalization and Punctuation, Lesson 1, Capitalization and M Marks Recap Worksheet. And the instructions tell you to fix the sentences below by rewriting them with capital letters and M Marks. So you've got eight sentences there. You need to write them again. You need to add any capital letters or M Marks that are missing. Also, watch out for run-on sentences. In brackets, at the end, it tells you how many things you need to change. In total, you will change 25 things. So, quite straightforward. Don't worry if you do not have a printer at home. If you don't have a printer, that's okay. All you need to do is look at the worksheet on your computer and find any piece of paper and write these sentences correctly. Okay, so please make sure you finish that homework worksheet before our next video lesson. At the beginning of the next video lesson, I will tell you the answers to that worksheet. As well, in our next lesson, you will need English Textbook 1 and your workbook. So please make sure you get those ready before our next lesson. Like I told you at the beginning, this has been a bit of a recap of what we did in class, but next we are moving on to commas, which we have not yet done. So please make sure you pay attention to our next lesson. 
But for now, that's all we need to do. So thank you, IP6. Bye-bye.